Hello, Chargers. I am Lizette Mosqueda. And I am Sarah Rasmussen. Today on April 5th, 2016's DP News installment segment, scholarship applications, volunteer opportunities, and more. DP News starts now. <laughs> This week is Committed Week. Remember to wear teal tomorrow, Wednesday, April 6th, to show your support for the Committed Campaign and to promote healthy, drug, and alcohol-free lifestyles. Here's Mr. Luna with a short message regarding the campaign. Hey, DP. It's Mr. Luna again, and I'm here with a couple of my Friday Night Love members. Uh, we have... Jennifer. Lizbeth. Julio. And uh, remember, this week is Committed Week. Uh, it's here to promote positive, healthy lifestyles, so tell me what you're committed to. I'm committed to staying drug free. I'm committed to planning a future ahead. I'm committed to playing sports every day. So come out to the Greek, tell us what you're committed to, pledge, you get a cool wristband, and uh, have fun tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, with some fun activities. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Luna, for that important message. Seniors, this Friday is the Senior Assembly. We'll be discussing senior best, prom theme, and all the senior activities. To be prepared for Friday, you are encouraged to bring $140 to the Assembly on Friday for the senior packet. If you need financial assistance, please speak to Assistant Principal Ms. Meyer for more information. If you want to ride to Disneyland with your group of friends on grad night, you must buy your, your packets together to be able to, buy, to be on the same bus. If you know you will not be here on Friday, talk to Ms. Meyer to get a confirmation note to be able to send the note and your money with a friend to purchase your packet and guarantee a spot on the bus with them. Seniors, if you're looking to reduce the cost of your college tuition next semester, then apply for the Kiwanis Foundation of Santa Barbara Scholarship. The scholarship is worth $1,000 with at least five scholarships to be distributed. In order to apply, applicants must be a high school senior and submit one letter of recommendation. The application form can be found online at KiwanisClubOfSantaBarbara.org and can be filled out electronically. After completing it, send it by email to Matthew Moore at MCM at QuirkerWright.com. The application should be typed and received no later than April 11, 2016 at no later than 5 p.m. On the topic of college, the National Association for College Admission Counseling invites our sophomores, juniors, and seniors to the National College Fair coming to Ventura County on Monday, April 25, 2016 from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. at the Ventura County Fairgrounds. This event is free and open to the public and these programs are currently available in 63 states across the county. They offer a variety of opportunities to help students simplify the college search and admission process. For more information, please log on to nacacnet.org slash collegefairs. Are you in need of some fun and easy community service hours? Or just feel like being an awesome person? The Little Angels Preschool is in need of student volunteers to help run its spring carnival on April 23rd. Little Angels needs help with setup, the carnival itself, and cleanup. Up to six hours of credit is available starting at 9 a.m. and all shifts are available. Best of all, you'll get a free lunch. If you're interested, please contact Mary Lopez to sign up and help. Now over to our very good friend, Matt Clater, with news on this year's spring show, Grand Duchy. Hi, I'm Matt Clater and I play Prince Louis in the upcoming play, Grand Duchy. Grand Duchy takes place in a small kingdom blocked off by any progress called Saint Domain. A princess and a rebel who look exactly like end up switching places. While they are acting as each other, the rebel falls in love with a prince and the princess falls in love with a rebel. Dates and showtimes are April 15th at 7, April 16th at 2 and 7, April 21st at 7, and April 24th at 2 p.m. You can buy tickets at the box office from 3 to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Thanks, Mac. We'll be sure to be there. Hey, Lizette. What does the letter A have in common with the flower? They both have bees coming after them. The next Beautify DP is taking place on Saturday, April 16th from 9 a.m. to noon. 
As usual, sign up on the clipboard outside of Mrs. Stone's office in the counseling office. And remember, National Honor, so National Honor Society members need to complete two hours of community service each semester. Attention freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. If you are interested in running for ASB office next year, be sure to attend the meeting on Thursday in P2. That's all for your campus news today, DP. Now let's throw it over to Jeffrey and Dallas with your sports report. Hello, Dos Pueblos. I'm Jeffrey Chow. And I'm Dallas Flanner here with your sports report. First off, congratulations to our girls tennis team who has been named CIF Southern Section Academic Champions for the 2015 to 2016 year. Our girls have been honored for having the top cumulative GPA in their sport. Our girls average with a team GPA of 3.92. Wow. wow. Also, congratulations to freshman Gabby Minear who won the Women's Gross Fight Championship Golf at Glen Annie this Sunday. My near had rounds of 69 and 86 for a score of 155 victory. Congrats, Wha Gabby. Wow! Our baseball team faces Oxnard for a double hitter today for our first for on our field. First game begins at 1. Yo, volleyball has their biggest game here tonight on our court at 6 against rival San Marcos. Make sure to make it out to our court at 6 to cheer on our boys on a victory. Our boys golf team stays local to face the Chaminade Eagles today at Glen Annie beginning at 2. Wow. Both of our lacrosse teams also face crosstown rival San Marcos today. The boys team will travel to the Royals field beginning at 7 and the girls will play on our field beginning at 6.30. Hey Jeffrey, rumors are spreading that you face both of our brand new lacrosse teams and did you beat them both? Oh yes I did! And he, there's a reason why it's called the Chow Challenge, not the lacrosse challenge. Wow! Here's my next installment of the new Chow Challenge. Wow! Hello, Dos Pueblos. My name is Jeffrey Chow. I'm here with another Chow Challenge. I'm here with girls across team members. Becca Baxis, Serena Applebaum, Carly Schwan. And I challenge them to another Chow Challenge with the help of both... Luis Nava. And... Hector Herrera. From the boys across team. What will we get if we score one point on you guys? A prom date with our coach, Sam. A prom date with Sam? Let's go. Dos Pueblos. According to the Santa Barbara Independent, the California State Auditor released a report last week that exposed the University of California's practice of accepting large numbers of out-of-state students, including those that are less qualified than resident Californians. At UCSB, non-resident enrol enrollment has increased by 72 percent at the same time that in-state enrollment dropped by 2 percent. The report also found that non-resident students have increasingly enrolled in the five most popular majors 
while resident enrollment in these majors has generally decreased. State legislators said UC's dependence on out-of-state dollars put Californians, particularly minorities, at a disadvantage and called for the audit, which recommends UC limit non-resident enrollment and use stricter admission criteria for non-resident applicants, among other things. That's all for today, Chargers. I'm Ann Bailey, sending it over to Olivia with the weather. Top of the morning to you, Chargers. I'm Olivia Deveni, preparing you for the, the harsh weather of Goleta. Today will be sunny with a high of 82 and a low of 55. The trend will continue tomorrow with a high of 83 and a low of 55. Whatever happened to the cow that was lifted into the tornado? It was an utter disaster. Oh, that was, um, I'm very sorry about that one. It was a real mistake. Okay, moving on. Um, I'm wishing you a great day. Olivia, signing out.